South Floridian Brandon Opry has one goal, to help South Florida teens who have some health battles experience a prom they will never forget. Here he is talking about his incredible organization. Brandon, it's been a year, my friend. Good to see you again. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me back. It's a busy time of year for you, right? Definitely. We're in prom season, and uh, it's prom number six for us here in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, how many proms did you go to when you were in high school? I went to three. Look at you. That's impressive. Yeah. And the, the joke amongst my friends is I, I was the prom king my senior year, so they thought I got the idea from, from that experience, but yeah. they did not. By the way, way to throw in that you were prom king. Nice, yeah, nice I had to that. just throw that in. Yeah, that was, that was very slick, yeah, for those of us who were not. Uh, and more importantly, <laughs> uh, prom to remember, um, t you know, for those who don't know, you were on a year ago talking about it, but uh, tell us about it. Yeah, so what we do is we want to provide hope, strength, and inspiration to teenagers in the area, uh, teenagers who are battling cancer, and we do so by putting on a prom, but not just any prom, we put on the ultimate prom experience uh, for these kids who are battling cancer. And uh, this is your brainchild, this idea, right? Correct. Uh, what, what made you decide to do it? I always get asked that question, but it was uh, six years ago, I just had an idea. It was just an idea that I had, and um, I said, you know what? I had a lot of good ideas before, but this is one that I wanted to run with. And I said, I'm gonna make this happen, and here we are today. But was there, you know, did one day did you see a, a sick child or something? I mean, was there a moment where you just said, this is the one, I need to do this idea? Not necessarily. I don't, I don't have anyone in my family who, who's a teenager with cancer, but I have worked a lot with the community and kids in the community and uh, just saw the need and right. the opportunity. Well, it's, you know, like I said, we had you here last year. It's such a wonderful event, and it, it doesn't just happen in South Florida. It happens in other places around the country as well, right? Correct. So we're doing our sixth one here. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio just had their fifth prom, and Boston is having their second prom next month. That's great. Do you go around and travel to all these? I do. Yeah. Got a busy little travel schedule. So you have been to more proms cumulatively than like anybody uh, ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny. And people say, uh, Brandon, you're a financial planner by day and a prom planner by night. And yeah. that's so true. Now, do you wear uh, different tuxes to each of these things? Do you have like, you know, the Boston threads and the Cleveland threads? <laughs> I do. I try to mix up the, uh, the tie and cummerbund to, uh, to match the location. Smart move. I like that. It's very, it's very <laughs> sophisticated. All right. So the one that's uh, happening this year in South Florida is happening like a week from now. Uh, tell us about it. We're very excited to be back at what is the only five diamond resort in Broward County. It's the Ritz Carlton on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Um, but just like every year, we, we try to outdo ourselves uh, by providing all the entertainment, the luxury transportation. Of course, everything's provided at no cost to the teens uh, or their families. We provide all the formal wear and just the experience of a lifetime for these kids. That's so great. So, so tell us more about that, about these kids that have had such a tough life uh, and, you, and you give this thing to them for free. I mean, that's got to feel great. And, and how does it feel for the kids? Have you? Had, I'm sure you've had conversations with these kids who are probably blown away by this. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to get caught up in the minutia of putting on a prom of this magnitude. But the best thing is getting to meet the kids, hear their stories, interact with them, hear from their families and the hospital staff what this actually means to them. It's very gratifying. Yeah. yeah I'm sure you've seen... Uh, probably kids reduced to tears, you know, happy tears, and parents crying happy tears too. Can you can you put into words? I know you just sort of did, but maybe one experience in particular that comes to mind. Just give us a moment where you you felt really proud of of all of this. Oh, there's so many to count, but I would say that a lot of these kids love so much the whole thought of the prom concept. They also come to some of our fundraiser fundraising events and speak in front of an intimidating large uh, audience. And to hear them speak and tell their story, it's really everybody in the room is in tears. So it's, that's what makes it important to yeah. me. And these kids are tough. I mean, that, you know, I, I've seen kids with cancer. You have, obviously, as well. I mean, they're tough, right? They are tough. And I, yeah. I never had it that rough growing up. Um, most of us, you know, had no problems going through high school. Um, but the truth is, every day is a battle. And they're going through treatments, and they're in and out of hospitals. and they're missing out on their high school experiences like prom. Right, you mentioned hospitals. Uh, you have some hospitals that, that partner with you on this, is that correct? Certainly. Yeah, so every major pedi pediatric oncology unit here in South Florida is on board. There's seven across the Tri-County area, uh, including uh, Broward Health right down the street here. Okay, and uh, the theme is Alice in Wonderland, is that right? Correct. Yeah, okay, so what, what's gonna be involved in all of that? It's very exciting, I mean, the kids uh, really like the whole theme concept, we tie in all the decoration, the centerpieces. We have uh, 
people this year dressed up as some of the special characters and uh, the entertainment displays are all going to have little clips of the movie and whatnot. So the kids really like that aspect. Now, are you going to be rocking some sort of Mad Hatter costume or something? Yeah, it's either that or um, I'm going to dress up as the bunny with the whole hat and the gloves and everything. Oh, so cool. We'll yeah, see. That's fun. Might be a little surprise. So give me, give me the, the details again of the prom, the when, the where, how people can get involved, donate, things like that. So our sixth prom is coming up here Friday, May 15th. It's at the Ritz-Carlton at 7 p.m. Uh, on the beach. Uh, our website is a prom to remember.org and you can get all the information there from how to donate or how to get involved if people want to participate and join in uh, the prom planning. It's all on our website. So, so anyone, so you say join in, so someone watching at home now is inspired, they want to be part of it, what can they do? Yes, by all means, go to, we have a social media page, uh, we have our website, they can certainly go online and get the information, but more importantly, enter your information just name and email address and somebody will get yeah. back to them. What a, what a great event. You know, obviously we'll have you back again next year. But as we say goodbye, I don't know if there's anything more you want to leave our viewers with. Just, you know, kind of putting this event into perspective and why it's really changed the lives of so many youngsters around South Florida. You know, what, what are you most proud of when, when you look at what you've accomplished here? Well, what makes us unique is the fact that people who participate or donate to our cause can directly see the link that they have between their dollar or their effort and the smile on the kids' faces. I mean, there's a lot of great charities in the community and, and nationally as well, um, and they all do great things. And hopefully one day there will be a, a cure for cancer. Uh, but in the meantime, we just hope to provide smiles on these kids' faces while they're going through a tough time. Well, it's great what you're doing. Best of luck, enjoy the prom, and uh, we'll see you next year. All right. You got it, man. Thanks, Dave. All right.